Today I'm going to be putting a fly and a spider in my vacuum chamber. So this guy I was about to swat him, but I decided to test him out in the vacuum chamber first. Okay, and also I just caught this spider in my house. He was about to get squished also. So I thought I'd see how strong his exoskeleton is. So I've had a lot of suggestions to put living things in the vacuum chamber, including putting myself in the vacuum chamber, but I decided to use a fly instead. So we already know that he's not gonna be able to fly in the vacuum chamber, but what I wanna test is how does his exoskeleton hold up? So once we reduce the pressure in the vacuum chamber, I wanna see if his exoskeleton holds up enough to not make him explode. Um, he might live through this, he might not. He already isn't flying much, so he's not looking too good before I put him in the vacuum chamber anyways. <laughs> okay, fly in a vacuum chamber. Three, two, one. Point two atmospheres. Looks like he's just fine. We're almost at a full vacuum and he's just fine. Okay, so we're at full vacuum, he didn't explode. I think now it's due to lack of air. Let's see if he's okay. Looks like he's all right. So I did it quick because he would have eventually died due to lack of oxygen, but it looks like a fly has a strong enough exoskeleton that he won't die just from exploding in a vacuum chamber. So this would not be the same result if I were to put something in there that didn't have an exoskeleton, like a mammal or something, but I'm not gonna do that, sorry. <laughs> and for all the animal rights activists who think that I'm abusing flies, I'm gonna let this little guy go. See a fly, have a happy life. Go tell your friends. Oh, he flew away, he's fine. Okay, spider in a vacuum chamber. Three, two, one. Point four atmospheres. We're at 0.5. 
0.1 atmospheres and he's still moving. So I'm gonna let in the air before he runs out of oxygen in his system. But we're about at full vacuum and he's fine. So if I left it going, he's going to die because he doesn't have any oxygen. But it looks like just the pressure differential doesn't kill him at all. He's still moving. So how about we let in some air and then free him into the wild. Okay. Let in some air slowly. Okay, well, since he survived my vacuum chamber, I will release him into the wild instead of squishing him. Okay, he did survive the vacuum chamber, so he deserves to be released. Go catch some flies. Maybe he'll catch the fly I released earlier. <laughs> Hey, thanks for watching another episode. If you like this video and you haven't subscribed yet, remember to hit subscribe for the latest action in the future. And comment in the comment section with what you'd like to see get crushed next time. I use a lot of your ideas. And if you want to see me put anything in my vacuum chamber, add that to the comment section. And I'll see you next time.